Let's dive into a topic that's hotter than Mount Etna going off in Sicily right now. Great, there's a volcano going off in Sicily? Will the 2024 presidential election affect our South Bay Los Angeles housing market? But before we unravel this current mystery, let's look backward in time, you know, to see how and if presidential elections have affected real estate markets in general, as well as interest rates in the past. Are they connected? Or do they have as little to do with each other as polka bands and spam? First, let's talk numbers. The economy and the politics are like that inseparable couple. You know, they finish each other's sentences. I have something I want to say to you. I was just going to say the same thing. Okay, you first. No, you first. I want to break up with you. They're so cute. And guess who's their third wheel? Mortgage rates. Okay, that's a stretch. Freddie Mac and our data wizard pulled out the receipts and tallied them up and... In the last 11 presidential election years, mortgage rates did the limbo, dropping from July to November in eight out of the 11. Check out this chart. Now you see those downward slopes? That's what we all want. And if forecasts hold true, will this year eventually follow that trend with rates easing a bit? It is July currently, and there's been a, you know, a slight downward angle so far this year, but <laughs> it's been an up and down roller coaster so far. Now, for buyers watching said roller coaster and dreaming of their dream homes, it's like finding a sale on unicorns on Craigslist. <sighs> Unicorn sale? Where? Uh, imagine if mortgage rates had campaign slogans. Vote for me, I promise lower monthly payments. And the rival rate whispers, I've got a better APR. That was a joke suggested by AI. Idiots. So I always tell them it's a great joke. So they always keep telling awful jokes. It's okay to not let them know everything, you know. Robots. Ugh. How about home sales in an election year? Home sales might slow down, but probably not for long. So historically, speaking in non-election years, okay, home sales typically slow down in the fall, following the spring and summer rush. That's just normal. So will the election impact this even more? This is what Ali Wolf, chief economist at Zonda, anticipates. Usually home sales are unchanged compared to non-election year, with the exception being in November. In election year, the November is slower than normal. So basically, people get a little bit nervous, you know, about making de big decisions during an election time. Can you blame us? There's a lot going on. Hey, don't eat that. That's typical. The typical slowdown is because of the holiday season. Generally, not a lot of people are moving around from Thanksgiving to the end of the year. That just makes sense, right? For instance, data from the Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD. Uh, HUD? What? You know them as. And the National Association of Realtors, NAR. NAR shows that after nine of the last 11 presidential elections, home sales increased the following year. So check out the graph. And the only time prices dropped, ah, the housing market crash in 2008. A plot twist. If you know, you know, it was an awful time for a lot of people. So if you and your friends are fretting about home values dropping because of an election, tell them to sip a martini or two and invite me over. Historically, prices usually rise after presidential election. It's science, or magic, or it's both. Hmm, my aunt's no, Sajik, that's it. This year? Yeah, it's the nuttiest election cycle we've probably ever seen, and there's so much at stake. While our country's economic state seems to be showing a slowing trend in inflation, which is good for interest rates, the presidential election might make consumers, you know, pause and ponder what's coming. It's natural. But here's the historical scoop. In the past election years, the housing market, it doesn't change. It's script much during election years. Thank you. Read that when you're ready, okay? You say tomato, and I say tomato. You say potato, and I say potato. Tomato, tomato. Potato, potato, let's call the, this is ridiculous. Next. So what's the big takeaway? While presidential elections do have some impact on the housing market, the effects in the past have usually been kind of small and temporary. Ask Ms. Sturdivant 
chief economist of Bright MLS. She says, historically, the housing market doesn't tend to look very different in presidential election years compared to other years. As Daryl Palmer at Remax Estate Properties, that's me. Well, I always say the same exact thing that that lady pretty much quoted me word for word for. And she took credit for it in that interview. But here, you heard it for, well, sec, neck. Never mind. But hey, this isn't your typical election. It's like a Marvel sequel with unexpected twists, like the last week's sudden twist with President Biden dropping out of the race. Whoa, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think it depends on who wins the election, or do you think that historical trends will repeat again? Put your comments below. It'd be interesting to know. Stay tuned to this channel, The Voice of Reason, in this housing saga, I guess. Or at least a voice that keeps you up in the middle of the night. Taxi!